My name's Steve Adams, and I'm a writer and a synesthete. For me, it's one through 10. It's one of the more common ones where you have uh, uh, colors associated with numbers, and they're just, they're automatic. They just come with it. My numbers are, are uh, very specific gender qualities to them. And that's when I realized I'd better accept this fact, because synesthesia, being that, was seemed preferable over being insane. I was one or the other, so I said, yeah, this must be for real. At least on a conscious level, as I understand it, I don't see it <laughs> at all having an effect any more than me being left-handed would have an effect. I experienced the number one as white in color, heterosexual, very traditional male. I don't have any fundamental problem with <clears throat> negotiating with the other side, and we don't have any personal problems. There is, however, a deep philosophical... I experience number two as an intense red, intense feminine energy from it, and I think of Scarlett Johansson or Madonna. I experienced number three as female, maroon, a little bit butch, and she might be a lesbian, but I can't tell for sure. I experienced number four as female, a bright red to orange color, and I don't know much about her personality. I experienced number five as a medium bright blue, heterosexual male, it's the number I identify with. I experienced number six as a light but bright green male who might be gay. I experienced number seven as a violet male. I experienced number eight as a female bright yellow. I'm a writing coach. And so if I'm working on someone's novel, and if someone's writing a, a novel that's basically in three acts, and I can visualize the shape of it, I can see where it's moving and where it's maybe there's a gap and where something is wrong. It'll feel like, whoa, I just do that. You're watch, going along with a movie, and suddenly they, they do something totally wrong. It's just, you feel it physically. There are areas of a lot of crossover that, that, that being this kind of, at least openness, being really sensitive to these sort of things help. I experienced nine as a deep red female with elements of blue in the color, and she is a little bit of a tomboy. I experienced number 10 as male that's white colored, it's stiff, very much like number one, and they're both something like cops or security guards or high school principals. We cut education funds, so no one's gonna throw money towards something like this. It's too bad, though, because I think I think there are you know doorways of perception that that could be used uh, to, especially with kids. We, we do a little bit of that, but we could go a lot farther with it. So, so there's my there's my rant and monologue on on your last question. Uh, my name's Steve Adams, and I'm a writer and a synesthete.